I'm Elafity Creatives. In this video, I invite you to come and sketch with me. I'm going to spend some time and do some portrait studies. And at the same time, I'm going to talk to you about being in the present moment, being in the here and now, and spending some time being mindful together. I'm using color pencil. I'm using my Faber-Castell Polychromos color pencils to do these studies. And I'm just really slowly layering up my colors. I'm using a quite textured watercolor paper for these studies. This was just a piece that I had lying around and I absolutely love using textured paper for color pencils. And I find it really fun how you can really see the texture of the paper shine through the drawings. I'm trying to really layer my colors, so I'm not doing any burnishing. I'm keeping my layers really soft and really light. And uh, this is a technique that I absolutely love doing, but I don't do it very often for um, commercial sort of purposes because it's really hard to scan in and we have that texture of the paper that shines through and uh, working on smooth paper is just a little bit easier to work with later on. So you can see I'm adding in my first layers of color and I am um, still searching for the right shapes. I'm not going for perfection but I'm more going for um, capturing the sort of essence of what I see in this person and just having a bit of fun with it. As an artist and business owner, sometimes it can feel like I have a thousand demands on my time at the same moment. Um, I need to package orders, run classes, make sure everything is prepared, make a plan for what I'm doing next year, and also do what I have to do now and make sure I don't forget about my administration, emails, answering questions, all these sort of things. And I'm sure that whatever your occupation is, that you also have lots of demands and different things going on at the same time as well. Whilst all of this is going on, I think it is really important to enjoy the present moment. We can only experience every moment once, and although we can have memories and think back about moments that have happened in the past, the current time is only now, and we can only live it once. And I think this is a really interesting concept, especially if you think that every single moment is unique. We may be able to watch like a film twice, or go for the same walk every day, or like even do the same job sort of every day, but every moment is unique and every day is different. And we grow as people, and I believe that we can learn and grow and evolve as human beings. And every moment we are sort of a new person again, and we have the chance to reinvent ourselves and to make changes to ourselves and yeah, to become better or yeah, to, to evolve and learn. And I think that is really an interesting idea if you think about it. I also believe that that approach is a matter of mindset. Uh, we can sort of think every day, oh, every day is the same and I'm doing the same old job and cycling to work and every day is the same route and sort of think about it that way. But if you appreciate that every day is different and really look around you and see what nature is around you or how the light shines uh, on things and how you feel different every day, I think, then uh, suddenly that same route becomes much more interesting and much more uh, fun as well. So that's something that I try to do. I go for a walk here in my local park very regularly and I walk the same path very often, but every time it looks different. Sometimes I see different animals there or the light shines different or the weather is different. And like every time I see something new. I really make an effort to try and spot something new every time. It might be a berry bush that suddenly started to grow flowers, or um, other plants that suddenly are, have popped up, or a new uh, sign that I saw somewhere on a root, and like, things like that. It just really makes me appreciate how everything is changing constantly. I also think that the fact that there are seasons here in the UK um, makes that ever-changing feeling much more um, clear and much more apparent. The fact that we now start to get into autumn and the world is just in this stage of change from going into summer where everything is super green, changing and becoming much more autumn-y and the leaves are all um, turning red and there's lots of berries on the bushes and you can just tell that the, the new season is slowly starting and I think it really gives you that sense of change and evolve uh, yeah, things evolving in the world, and I am um, yeah, I love that. 
I would love to live in a country where uh, it's always warm and sunny and live on a tropical island, but I do think I would miss the seasons because I absolutely love the ever-changing seasons. I'm slowly adding a little bit more color to this portrait. And I'm using a reference photo, but I'm making it much more orange and warm colors than what uh, this person looks like in the photo. I'm really, I think I'm really in the mood of autumn colors. I think it's because I'm running this autumn drawing course uh, where we're drawing lots with orange and warm colors. And um, yeah, it just seems to fit my mood at the moment. So I think some shadows as well. I know that I am saying all of this, like staying in the moment and being present and appreciate every day and find the joy in things. And I always try to preach positivity to people, but I am absolutely aware that this is something that is not easy for everyone. It doesn't come naturally to everyone. And I know a lot of people struggle with mental health and I really don't want to um, yeah, sound as if I don't take that serious. I just think that for me, being outside and being in nature can be so wholesome and I uh, am making art as well. For me, painting and drawing really helps me stay present and stay grounded. I'm just started on my second portrait study and I'm trying to think of a fun composition that I can create. A way that these two um, women that I'm drawing, that they fit together in on the paper and that they sort of feel like they would naturally... Uh, sort of belong together on this paper. So I'm going to use the same techniques, same sort of style of drawing and very much the same colors as well to create a, yeah, a composition that I think is fun. And I do think that making compositions can sometimes be a little bit tricky. I think making spot illustrations where you only draw like a single object, you know, just on its own is much easier. But I want to grow and learn as an artist and slowly become better and challenging myself a little bit in this sense. Um, yeah, it's something that I think I can learn from and grow from. So we keep ever growing and ever learning, right? So even, um, so I found that also a really fun concept. So I do a lot of meditation and I am going on a 10 day meditation retreat again in a few weeks time. And I think being in the moment, a lot of, for a lot of people meditation, seems to be clearing your mind of all thoughts and being completely empty of all thoughts. And I think for a lot of meditation styles, that's not actually the goal. Very often the goal is much more being aware of your thoughts and being uh, like knowing where your thoughts come from and um, yeah, being, yeah, getting to know your thoughts similar as, you know, other parts of your own physique and your own body and habits and things like that. Your thoughts are just part of you, same as you know, your knees are part of you. And I think the problem becomes when your thoughts are overpowering or overwhelming or you don't have any um, yeah, say about what happens with your thoughts. The person I'm drawing here has a darker skin tone and you can see that the texture of the paper really shines through and that sort of instantly makes the skin tone a little bit lighter. So that's something that if you draw um, people with darker skin tone on textured paper, that is something that you need to be aware of a little bit, that the white of the paper, that texture will shine through a little bit and it lightens things up. I don't need to make um, the skin tone like completely dark, but I wanted to read as someone with a darker skin tone and not just because of her hairdo or because of her features but because the color of the skin reads as darker and this is something that I find quite challenging and um, I'm practicing it. So this is one of my practice sessions. I'm using blue for the shadow here and I love using lots of different colors on my drawings. I don't, uh, yeah I'd love a bit of, a little bit of rainbow colors and I think just using black for shadows and red for lips and like things like that is a little bit boring. So I love just switching it up a little bit and create something that yeah, is maybe a little bit more surprising or colors that maybe become a little bit richer because of it. I made this, these drawings at the end of my day. And 
Um, I always find that at the start of the day, when I do my first drawings, things can be quite difficult. But at the end of the day, if this may be my fourth or fifth drawing of the day, maybe I've been working on client work or on other things, then um, things will come a little bit easier at that stage. I don't know if you have that, but once you're warmed up, the drawing becomes a little bit more natural, or plus it can be really hard to start at the start of the day. I am approaching the hair in both of these portraits as like a complete unit, and then I'm adding some details in. So I'm not um, drawing in every single stroke of hair, I'm more looking at the form as a shape, as like a whole shape. So you can see I'm quite wild with the colors I'm using, lots of oranges and reds and blues. And again, I'm not trying to make a photorealistic portrait, but I'm trying to capture a bit of the essence of this woman. She looks very glamorous in the photo. Very relaxed as well. So see if I can capture a bit of that essence in my drawing. Nowadays, we have so many things that capture our attentions. Social media, uh, the news, things at work, uh, our phone calls, like messages that we're receiving sort of throughout the day. And sometimes it is just really wholesome to take a moment and turn all of that off and just spend some time with yourself. And um, this is what I try to do quite regularly. I'm not always good in responding to messages. Sometimes I respond immediately and sometimes it takes me days to respond. And that's usually because I turned my phone off and then by the time I turned it off, there's a lot of messages to respond to and then sometimes I forget. But even though it feel, makes me feel a bit guilty, I still think it is important to, um, yeah, to do that. You cannot always be... Uh, reachable for everyone and you don't always have to be there for everyone. So I was having a little bit of fun with the background and I'm almost finished with this little illustration. Let me know if you like it. You and me, would you like to see more portraits made by me? Do you enjoy this little rant about mindfulness and being in the moment and appreciating nature? Or do you rather see just art tutorials? I would like to know. So please make sure you comment underneath and tell me what you think. And thank you so much for being with me here today. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.